Hold on a minute. Uh, okay, good. Show me. So we're sliding it. Sliding it is locking the meter it and out. jumping the power out and it's taking the, the meter out. Okay, so we took the meter. Once out. you bring it back down, then your house is dead. Okay. Because of the power. Okay, that's great. House. This is the meter box. So we took out the meter to put in the generator. That's cool. So now there's no power going to the house. Correct. And there's the three prongs. Oh, that's the two the, the two hot lines. These are and going into the house. Neutral. That's the power up there. Oh, that's the one coming in from the line. And there's no ground on this side of the box, right? The, the, the utility that's just it. that's grounding the box here. Right. But to the utility, they don't. They only provide a neutral. There's no ground. Correct. Right. Okay, that's good. Okay, let me look at the meter. Okay, I'll be inside in a minute. Okay. I take the box off. And I'll show you the meter. Just a second. We had already pulled out the meter by the time I came, but it's a regular meter. Simple. Totally mechanical. I don't know if you can see it that well. Let me just try to get a better view. All those gears. There's the front of the meter. Bottom of the meter. That thing spins. That's like a. It turns, and that little, that big round plate spins. Now the back of the meter. So simple. This is the power coming in from the utility. These are the two uh, two hot hot lines coming into your house. That's it. It just the power goes down and the meter measures it. Now you have these things. I had read that people hack their meter by playing with the back of this. Not that I'm recommending that. I've just been curious. I don't know what this is. There's that little switch. It's almost like a switch that you can. Let me try to. Let's see. Okay. Like you can slide that thing across. I don't know what that would do. Would that give you power without the meter registering it? I'm not sure. Like you could take out the screw on the right. Or actually take off maybe the screw on the left and then slide it over. You can slide it to the right. Anyway, it's like, it feels like it's made of bake light or something, or some kind of plastic. There is a seal over here. They don't want you opening it, obviously. It's sealed. Let me turn that over. One, two, January 2nd, 91. I don't know. It's a little dirty. No, I'm not sure. There's all these numbers there. One, all right, so that's pretty much the meter. It's sealed with this metal. I don't know how to open it. I don't think you can. Oh, here it is. Uh, it looks like it's over here. You could open it. You could force it open. But it looks like these are seals, actually. It looks like if you break these, you'll have a problem. Oh, no, it's not attached there. But it looks like it does something. And then you have these seals, so they'll know that you break it. If you break it open, they'll see the seal is broken. All right, so it has some degree of protection. Otherwise, just a plain meter. It says 9th HPC 686. 86. It's like 30 years old. I don't know of too many mechanical things that work for 30 years. And uh, just take another quick look at the box without touching anything. Because that's hot. Those two wires. And. The connection to the meter, the lower connection. So you see, with this switch, you can actually. It says over here, 
Do not open or close bypass under load unless meter is in place. Do not use bypass as a disconnect switch. No, do not use disconnect sleeves. Handle down, bypass open, drawers locked. It's a series here. So apparently, you could actually get power to your house by pulling the meter out and then flipping the switch so that you would get power to your house. But I don't advise it because one day if you do that, you'll you'll sleep late and then the meter reader will come and when he sees it, he won't be too happy. They'll charge you for like 10 years worth of what they say is uh, your overuse or, or unmetered use. So that's pretty much it. And uh, interesting. You just push it in. Or you latch it. You open up. Okay, that's it. Kind of latches in. Yeah. That's cool. Well, it's not running because there's nothing on, right? We shut it off from the inside, mm -hmm. so there's no power to run. Okay. And how do you put the cover back on? Slips up. That's the whole thing. That's it.